this is Brian Rowe from Mythic MTG Tech doing a new series here called Commander Level Up. I'm taking one of the brand new commander decks and giving you some suggestions, most of them below $5 for adding awesome stuff to this deck. One or two crazy cards also. First thing that I recommend when you get a deck like this is just take a look at the deck read all of the cards in the deck, try to figure out what's going on in the deck. These decks are some of the best constructed commander pre-constructs that they have done so far. They actually have a really solid curve to them, but they also have multiple themes going on. The next thing you want to do is take a look at the commanders and decide which of those commanders you're going to really focus on. There is a very different feel to this deck if you go with two of the partner commanders than if you go with the primary four color commander. And you want to customize the deck to try to take an aspect of the deck and emphasize it more pull out a few of the weaker cards and add some more cards directly on the theme. There's a lot of flexibility in these decks. I'm going to concentrate some on the draw card theme that is here and Yidris's Cascade ability because Cascade is just awesome. But you could also turn this into a little more of a control deck or a chaos deck depending on how you wanted to go with the deck. Then you want to look at what do you want to cut. In this particular deck, I'm going to be focusing on cutting a few of the higher casting cost or lower impact cards and single use cards. Curtains call decent removal, but it's really for a giant game. There is better removal out there. Same thing, Chains of Vapor can really come back and bite you. Consuming Aberration is a casual favorite, but unless you really have a way to fling it or get it through, maybe give it fear, something else, it often ends up getting chump blocked. Treacherous Terrain, very cool idea, and I would actually put that into a deck that had some type of mutual ramping where everyone was ramping and then use that ramp against them. Academy Elite's a little bit high casting cost, and Boom Pile is an awesome card if you want to do a coin flipping specific theme or a chaos specific theme, but that's one of the themes that I'm de-emphasizing in the changes in this deck. Ghostly Conscription, a little bit high casting cost there. If it's going to be seven casting cost, I want it to be just incredibly nuts. And I would add that into a bigger reanimate based deck or a dredge based deck. Horizon Shamira, four casting cost flash, but you're only really gaining one life here. And Frenzied Fug, cool idea but it's an enchantment. It's very, very likely that it could easily get destroyed. It's not my best way to do control magic out there. Now we're moving into the cards to add. A little bit of reusable removal and dredge would do well in this deck. Dark Blast is a great way to do that. It lets you deal with small creatures out there again and again. Suffer the Past. We're throwing a lot of cards into people's graveyards. You can use this as a game ender. But what is even better than Suffer the Past is the ability to draw cards with all of those cards that you're throwing into the graveyard. Skeletal Scrying is just a nuts good card and perfect for this deck. Words of War. This was a suggestion from a friend. I wasn't even familiar with this card. The flavor text really brought me into it. And the ability that it allows you to turn like multiple windfall effects in the same turn, those extra cards that you're just going to be discarding, you can turn into damage. Really cool card. Passion cannot be shackled by law or mastered with logic. The choice is freedom or death. Wonderful flavor text. Really, really nice nice card that I had never even considered that goes really well with these draw effects that are happening all over the place. Sphinx's Tutelage is one of the best draw cards out there. The way that it works is allows you to really crush your opponents, milling them while you are drawing cards. Very nice win condition, very reasonably priced at $1.50. Frantic Search is another wonderful draw card that is often missed. The fact that it's free and that you could add some soul lands or ways to get extra mana out of it, it's very, very solid card, especially if you've got a little bit of a reanimator theme going on also. Armed and Dangerous. 
if your creatures are going to be attacking and you're going to win with commander damage, this is a wonderful way to often one-shot people. Additionally here, though, you've got a creature in here that gives you a card for each damage that you do to your opponent. Adding double strike is just incredible. And it can also work as a board wipe. If you keep the consuming aberration, you can attack somebody and wipe all of their untapped creatures by using the fuse side of this. Cyclonic Rift, oh, one of the best blue cards out there. And what I really like doing with Cyclonic Rift is playing it in response to Wheel of Fate coming off of those suspend counters throw all of your opponent's permanents back into their hand and then make them discard it. Fill up those graveyards really, really quickly here. Why let your opponents draw cards? You could be drawing cards. Draw 7 could turn into a draw 21 with a Notion Thief. Very, very, very good card. Very underplayed in EDH. It's wonderful against cantrips. It's great with all of the draw effects that are there. This is a must-have in EDH decks that are draw-based. Memory Jar, another really, really good card. This is a Wheel of Fortune, 5 mana, very reasonable price, well worth adding to this deck. Now my last additions here are a little bit over the top. If you want to put in crazy expensive cards that really hit the theme of this deck, the place to go is Wheel of Fortune which is reserve list and at $32 or 900 if you want to spring for an alpha or time twister $1,300 for a white border or 3000 for an alpha. Those will make this deck look awesome. They're by no means needed, but they really fit the theme of the deck. And if you want something crazy, this is clearly it. What cards did I really miss? What cards would you have put into this deck? How would you upgrade this deck? Help the community with your own suggestions here in the comments. For all of the knowledge and cards, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to everybody's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I've got pack openings coming up really, really soon here. My home internet went down. Comcast canceled it a month early. I'm getting it back up today, and I hope to have those shot in the next day or two. Thank you also to chess.com, who's a sponsor of the channel. If you want to play me at chess, head over there. And until next time, choose the cards wisely.